Hey guys, it's Stanford here with First Updates Now. Today I'm with Team 7157 Mubotics at the 2023 Aerospace Valley Regional. And we're going to go through some of the incredible stuff that they have on this robot. Um, we've seen it perform incredibly at previous events. Um, we're going to talk about their intake, their buddy climb, the structure, and the programming. And today to help me with that, I have Matthew, Veronica, and Nolan. And uh, stay tuned for all that and more on the episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. First thing we're talking about on this robot is the intake. So, uh, Nolan, you want to take it away? So, my name is Nolan. Um, I was helping design this intake. Uh, we originally were deciding between a claw and top and bottom rollers, but we decided that the rollers worked really well for us because um, we like the touch it own it aspect and like Citra says, you know, always use gravity rollers when you can. Um, so the rollers was something that we liked. Uh, we wanted a wide intake because wide intake helped us last year. Um, it's pretty similar to our intake last year where we have um, two inch compliance wheels. Um, and what's unique about our intake is that it does actuate up and down for different positions. Um, you can see. That's our cube and our cone. Um, we liked the two positions because we were trying to get one that could do both. Um, but we like to hold the cone and hold the cube. You see like that? It opens and closes. Um, and we like the ability to just touch it, own it, like I said, and hold the cone and cube securely. Um, and so that's actuated using pistons on the inside, um, and it's driven using belts on the top and bottom also. Um, it's pretty lightweight, uh, pretty compact, and it works really well for us. Right. Uh, really cool. And something I always like, I like to ask about these um, is how many iterations did it take to get to a spot where you wanted to be happy with, with this intake? So this is probably like our eighth or ninth intake. Um, like design-wise, we had like built like three or four um, it's, so it took us a while. We had a lot of different weird problems, but with like fast iteration, we were able to get one that we got pretty consistent. All right. Yeah, absolutely incredible. We've seen this intake do very well at things like single, sta single substation pickup, definitely helping these guys be an absolute weapon out on that field. But something else that's going to be helping them out with that is their buddy climb. So I'm going to have Matthew go ahead and run us through that. So our buddy climb this year, it, we're using two carbon fiber rods to just slide under the robot. And this allows us to just winch up over with a lever arm to get under their bot, allowing our center of mass over the charge station, giving us the climb. Uh, so our forks, we actually had them before OCR, uh, but it ended up not quite working as we wanted it to. So we ended up taking them off. Uh, and so we only winch down with uh, gravity. So our driver will just back up and it'll fall. And then it'll be under the robot and just pull up using that. And so the lock, if you see here, we have like a, a locking mechanism right here to stop it from coming up. And it kind of is using a four bar deploy system just to fall down and then get back up. And uh, what material are these rods uh, made out of? The rods are made out of carbon fiber. Uh, and then we cut them at an angle so we can easily slide under the robots. Very, very cool. Um, definitely one, I think, the only buddy climb here at the uh, 2023 Aerospace Valley Regional. And the last thing we're going to talk about on this robot is some of the software tricks that they're using and the structure that they use to keep this whole thing together. So, Veronica, go ahead and take that away. Um, yeah, so to coordinate movements between our elevator, our wrist, and our intake, we have a superstructure motion planner just to coordinate all that. And so we're able to basically intake from anywhere in the field and score at any position fairly conveniently. Um, additionally, um, for auto, we also have object um, detection on our limelight to correct for any possible misalignment in our um, preload plus one plus climb auto, just to make sure that we're getting the cube every single time. And then I see you guys have a pretty uh, fancy like superstructure holding the whole elevator up. So if you want to run, would you want to run through that for a little bit? Um, 
Yeah, so we just have different states for all the elevator and wrist and intake combinations. Um, we do have checks in place also to make sure that we're not doing any movements that where they might conflict with each other, checking at certain places if the elevator is high enough, if the wrist is stowed enough, stuff like that, just to make sure that we aren't breaking on the field. Yeah, so definitely some of the coolest things I've seen on this robot, that buddy climb especially, are really cool. Um, these guys are absolutely incredible, and they have been so far at the uh, Aerospace Valley Regional, some of the best driving I've ever seen in a really long time. So definitely look out for these guys, and uh, thank you guys for being on our show, and good luck with the rest of your competition season. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.